Good morning, Bells and Bets. Thank you for joining me for another author slash unemployment vlog. So if you are new here, my name is Sheena Peril. I am an author knitwear designer from the Pacific Northwest. And in my day job, I work as a temp. So I'm currently in between assignments, which means that my time is my own and I am using it to work on my author business. Um, this morning we're starting a new vlog and I'm going to start with kind of like a chatty get ready with me. That way I can optimize my time as best as possible here. Now I am not a makeup guru. Um, I am not a beauty person, but when I'm doing formal sit down videos, I do tend to like to wear makeup for that. So we're just doing the basic stuff that I need to feel comfortable on camera. Um, there isn't a whole lot to it. Anyway, so normally I would do my more like analytical stuff in the morning and then work on my more creative stuff like filming in the afternoon. However, we are supposed to get thunderstorms this afternoon, which kind of throws a kink in the works. So I am working on doing filming this morning and then um, I need to run to Target to pick up some groceries and then we're going to do the businessy stuff this afternoon when it's storming, um, which is doing my taxes, which I'm really not looking forward to. So I'm kind of okay with procrastinating right now. So what we have planned for this week, I want to get two videos filmed today. And that will take care of this Wednesday's video and then next week's video. I'm trying to post a long form video at least once a week right now. And I'm trying to get more into like the short form videos, which is hard because that's not my the way my brain works. I really struggle with short form anything, whether it is, uh, videos or if it is short fiction. So that's something that I want to work on this week. And then I've also got to do my taxes. Like I said, I've got to do photos for an article that I'm submitting that is due in two weeks. And then um, I have to do the formatting for Midnight Radio, my new book, which comes out on the April 22nd. Um, I also want to work on some pattern writing this week because I sell minimal books, but my patterns still move and they don't make enough for me to survive on it or anything. But it is a stream of income. So I am trying to bolster any current sources of income that I have while also trying to create new revenue streams, which is one of the reasons why I'm doing YouTube more, because if I can get up to that thousand subscriber mark, then I can qualify for things like affiliates, partnerships, sponsorships, um, ad revenue, all of that good stuff. Um, so anyway, while you're here, it would be really helpful if you like and subscribe. Okay, you just missed that whole section of like five minutes because it's just been plane after plane after plane going by. Because <sighs> unfortunately when you're broke, you tend to do things like live on flight paths or be near train tracks. Actually, in our case, we are both because there is a light rail station going in like 50 yards from our front door. So we're going to have both trains and airplanes here in the next year. Um, hopefully we won't be living in this apartment then, but you never know. Okay. 
so makeup is done. Planes are still going. Um, that's difficult. Um, so now I'm just going to gather up all of the visual aids that I need for a podcast episode and we'll get started filming on that. Okay, video one recorded, video two recorded. Groceries have been picked up. I still need to write the spooky story for the podcast and record that before I can edit everything. Um, but first, I have to do my taxes. I'm not filming that. There might be tears. Um, dear U.S. government, this should be easier. You already know what we owe. Just gonna say it. Okay? So, um, I'll check back in when I'm done. Or when I'm ready to pull my hair out. Did my taxes, and I didn't cry. It was a near thing. I, I very nearly cried at one point because it kept sending me in a circle. Um, but we're done now. Uh, I still need to do some bookkeeping stuff and a couple other like admin type things. But I'm going to take a break. <laughs> it only took me like an hour and a half to do that. But it was a very intense hour and a half. So I'm going to take a break and play video games and maybe knit a little bit and then we'll come back to this. Well, good morning. It is now Wednesday. I have not vlogged since Saturday because I've been down sick with a stomach bug for the last three days and we are up off to a rocky start this morning. I am fully recovered, feeling better and everything and ready to get back to work, but I am behind on everything. The house is a mess. My sleep schedule is messed up. I'm waiting to hear on some important news from Ohio that I should hear about today. And also one of the cats dumped an entire glass of fridge cold water on my bed and on my lap this morning as soon as I woke up. So um, it's a rough start. I have a load of dishes going. I've got a load of laundry that needs to be switched over to the dryer. I've got a load in the dryer that needs to come out and get folded. Um, and I've got a lot of stuff that has to be done today now. Um, I need to get some stuff blocked so I can take photos for a magazine article. Um, and then we need to review the to-do list and see what's the priority. Okay, good morning. Um, I need to catch you up on a few things because I did not vlog this week. Um, so today is Saturday. And in the last, like, five days that I didn't vlog, I came down with a stomach bug and spent two and a half days in bed. Um... We had some drama back with my family in Ohio, and we had some more stuff happen here that I'm not ready to go into yet on the internet, um, even though it does impact me, both of these events do, but it's not my news to share, and I, I don't feel comfortable putting it on YouTube. So... Um, yeah, it, it's been a not so great week and as a result, I ended up not accomplishing very much at all. Um, mostly just because I wasn't feeling well enough to work for a lot of it, but also just mentally, I'm not there. <laughs> so we have a lot that has to get done today. Um, the two most important things, I need to take photos for an article that is due in a few days that I have not gotten around to taking yet. And then I also need to edit 
All right, well, I need to record the spooky story for the podcast, which is supposed to, well, that was supposed to go up on Wednesday, but that wasn't happening. Um, so I need to record the spooky story and finish editing the podcast. The podcast itself, I've already edited, but I hadn't recorded the story yet. So that shouldn't take too long. Um, that needs to get done. I also really need to take a shower this morning. But I think I want to get the other stuff done first just to get that knocked off my list. And then we can reevaluate later and see what the new priorities are. Um, I don't think that today is going to follow my... Uh, routine or schedule that I had built for myself just because after five days off, um, I need to look and see what is most urgent that needs taken care of. And then we'll go from there. So onward to photography because my voice is not quite awake enough yet for me to be recording. Uh, where are we? Um, so it is Sunday now, and I did get a lot done yesterday. It wasn't all stuff that I had on my list, but, you know. Um, <clears throat> so the main thing that I got done... Stupid planes. The main thing that I got done was I finished going through... Uh, the Spider Swab, which was my first novel. It's the first book in the Evie Capelli series. And I updated the story file, the front matter, and the back matter, and created a new digital version. So that is currently available on my Kofi shop, which I'm working on updating. Um, I haven't used that feature of Kofi, Kofi before. Um, but I'm trying to get that set up because currently all of my stuff is available either through Amazon or through Gumroad and Gumroad comes directly from me. But my Gumroad shop doesn't get a lot of traction. And I think part of that is just because nobody knows what Gumroad is. It's not a very popular platform as far as I can tell. I haven't heard a lot of other people talking about it. So I'm going to cross post it onto Ko-Fi. And that way it's still coming directly from me, well, via Kofi, but hopefully it will have lower fees than Amazon and it'll give me a little bit more flexibility. Eventually I want to be able to do direct sales through my website, but currently that is out of the budget. The plugins to be able to do that are more than I can afford right now. So we are going with third-party apps because they're cheaper. Um, and my tasks for today, um, I have some bookkeeping stuff that I need to do. I need to look for jobs. Um, it is also now the start of a new calendar week, which means that I can file my unemployment claim. So I need to do that this morning. Um, I need to do some work on the Eleonora project, which I have been putting off. I can totally finish it. It's just, I'm not feeling confident in it right now and it's upsetting me. So I'm going to revisit some of the uh, conservation photos, make sure that I am in fact on target and then go from there, I guess. Um, I also need to take the EV files that I put onto Kofi, put those onto Amazon, and then I can start doing the same thing. I want to do this for my entire backlist, but specifically I want to do it for EV's books and some of my earlier stuff that is definitely outdated on the links and socials and all of that. Um, so I'm going to work on that and then tomorrow I'm going to get into the midnight radio formatting. Um, I finally decided and I am not going to change the story. I'm just going to leave it 
as is and leave that kind of mysteriousness in it. Um, but now that I have my new front back matter set up, it'll be easier to just plug those in and then I can go from there. So it, that is the plan for today. Um, I know I did other stuff yesterday. I just can't remember what it was. Anyway, let's get to work. It is now Monday and I'm still really bad at vlogging. <laughs> So yesterday I got a lot done. I actually finished my entire list by 2.15, which is shocking. Um, so today I need to get caught up on some blogging stuff because I haven't done anything with my blog in like a month. And I'm pretty sure I've missed a couple of posts at this point. So I need to get caught up on that. I want to write out at least four different blog posts. And I need to set up my March mailing list, which goes out on the 15th. It is now the 13th, I think. Um, so I need to do that. And then I also need to make some reels. I have two that I actually want to film and then I have two more that I want to do that are made up of just like still photos or photos with a little bit of animation in them. So I'm going to make those in DaVinci Resolve, which is what I use to edit all of my videos and then upload those to Instagram or at least put them on my phone so that they are ready to be posted. Cause I don't think later we'll let you schedule reels. I still need to find some kind of social media software that will allow me to schedule reels. Um, let's see. Um, I also have just like some little chore type things that need to be done this afternoon and one of the things I'm going to start working on is um, I got Midnight Radio formatted and uploaded yesterday which is great because it was had a schedule so I got that done and that means that the next book I'm working on is My Cozy Mystery and my beta readers finished going through it at the end of February, so I have comments that I need to go through, and it is time to go through, do the next edit, read their comments, get their feedback, and figure out what my next steps are going to be. Um, and that is a book where I'm not sure if I'm going to submit it to an agent or if I am just going to self-publish it because it's a cozy mystery, it's highly marketable. I think it would do really well with a publisher, but I only want to work with a publisher if they are offering me paperback. Um, because if it's just ebook, that's something I can do myself, you know? Um, and the main advantage of having it through a publisher would be the visibility and marketing, which, okay, that's something I can't do even with eBooks, but if you're not going to put me in a bookstore, then what's the point, you know? So anyway, uh, that is the plan for today. So let's get started on these blog posts. I've got one, two, three, four, five six that I need to schedule. So that will get me through probably the end of April, which is good. Okay, let's go. <laughs> there is a cat behind me. So the blogs are written and I am procrastinating big time because the next thing on my list is making reels. And I hate making reels. My brain does not work in short form. And 
trying to come up with, hey, look at me, posts, is my least favorite thing. Quid. Leave the camera alone. Stop it. I'm going to start by editing a video that needs to go out on Wednesday and then I'm going to do the thing where I trim down the long videos to make previews. So, um, fun fact, you know how I was sick last week? Um, it turns out that's a medication side effect. So, um, guess who's sick again? Um, yeah, so my plans for today have just been altered. There will be absolutely no filming today outside of this one vlog update. Um, so yeah, I've had to email my doctor and I'm going to try and get as much done today as I can, but it's not looking promising right now, which is fantastic. Um, yeah. I'm just going to talk to you tomorrow, okay? Bye. Okay, good morning. <clears throat> so, I feel fine today. The med thing has been solved because I'm going off of that med. That's not going to work anymore. Um... So I did feel fine yesterday by the afternoon and I got a couple of blog posts written, um, which is good because I miscounted and the other day I did four blogs on my mailing list and then um, that got me through the end of March and then I did two more, so I'm now like halfway into April, something like that. Ugh, very poor angles for vlogging. Um, so I did redo my schedule for today to figure out what I'm going to work on. And it's mostly going to be editing and um, when I wasn't feeling good yesterday, I was watching documentaries on my phone and the particular documentaries I was watching gave me more ideas for midnight radio and it's nothing huge that I'm changing. I'm just like adding in another little sprinkle of like foreshadowing and background info. So I want to add that in this morning while it's still relatively fresh in my mind. Um, and then I have some chores I need to get done. I want to make my social posts and graphics today. And then I need to work on the Eleonora project. But I kind of wanted to have a chat because I have been putting off doing the social aspect of my job. I hate promotional work. And honestly, I hate the social media aspect of it. And that's not to say that I don't enjoy social media, like I can doom scroll with the best of them. It's just that 
a lot of times posting on social media, number one, it feels like you're in a vacuum, especially right now because I had to leave Twitter because it imploded. And so I'm trying to rebuild my following on threads and I don't have the same level of engagement on Instagram that I did on Twitter. Twitter was my biggest social following. So I still have an account, but I only post updates there. I don't actually engage with people. So that puts me in a rather awkward and annoying position, which is that not only does it feel like I'm posting in a void, but I'm having to start over. And that is so annoying because it feels like small talk. When you're posting on social media, it's not deep engagement and it's not, at least in my experience, um, you're not starting meaningful conversations most of the time. It's mostly just, you know, you post a cute pap- cat pic and people are like, oh, that's cute. And then that's the end of it. So it um, it activates the part of my autism that hates small talk, which makes it really hard to come up with good engaging posts. for um for social media because social media is geared more towards that like small talk type of interaction that I hate so I'm in this constant loop of trying to find better ways of engaging like if I change my tags if I change the content what exactly do I need to do to get the engagement that I'm looking for? And not just engagement, but to turn those viewers into readers who purchase a book. So that is a big thing that I'm going to be working on today and in the future. And um, it's also one of the reasons why I've been concentrating on ebooks for the last couple of years. Um, I stopped producing paperbacks for my more recent releases, and there's a couple reasons for this. One, it makes the covers cheaper and easier to get. Number two, it speeds up the publication process. And when I'm promoting a book, I can be like, you know, hey, this has this really low price point because it's an ebook. And that makes it a little bit easier to sell. Um, now that COVID has passed, I'm looking at getting back into doing things like conventions and farmers markets and things like that. So I do want to bring back more paperbacks, but I can't do that right now because I don't have the money to invest in additional cover art or in ordering inventory to do that. So, again, I'm in in limbo there. I I don't know how to fix that. And I kind of either need a ton more sales or a better day job in order to make that happen. So that is where we are today. And my cats are insane. And I'm going to get started on Midnight Radio. So let's do that.
Okay, and it's now Thursday, which means that it is my weekend, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up here. Um, I did get this updates into Midnight Radio, so it is now hands-off, and it comes out on April 22nd, so we'll go ahead and pre-order that if you could. I would really appreciate it. Um... So I think that my next group of projects, I'm still working on my backlist update, but I also have some textile stuff that I need to get done because I've been sick on the last two days that I had set aside for working on textile pattern type stuff. So that is the plan going forward, and I will see you in the next vlog. Ciao! On Thursday, March 14th, multiple tornadoes struck Indiana, Ohio, and Kentucky. One of the hardest hit areas was Lakeview, Ohio, which is, was basically demolished by an F3 tornado. I spent a lot of time at Indian Lake as a kid and the Lakeview area. My grandparents retired there and we spent so many weekends every holiday and at least a week every summer. This is where I learned to swim and it's where I learned to love history. It provided fodder for my imagination, and to this day, it still influences my writing. This is an area that is wholly dependent on tourism, and right now there is just nothing left. Most of the houses in this area are very small cottages that were built between 1930 and 1960, and they just sit on concrete blocks. When the tornado went through, it literally blew them away. As with many tourist-centered areas, the year-round residents are mostly low income. Lakeview and the surrounding areas were hit hard by the housing bubble and the 2008 recession, and to be honest, it has never fully recovered to what it was in the 90s or before. The average person makes between $20,000 to $35,000 a year, and now they're missing restaurants, event spaces, shopping, laundry facilities, and so much more. To make matters even worse, for the last few years, they've been struggling with an invasive algae, which has made it unsafe to swim or boat in the lake, further impacting tourism. Three people died in this storm, and about two dozen were taken to the hospital with injuries. The only reason the casualty list wasn't higher is because the season doesn't start until Memorial Day, so there weren't any out-of-towners around. The full po the full-time population is just over 1,100 for the village of Lakeview, and the adjoining villages of Midway and Russell's Point are even smaller. Four of my family members survived this storm. My mom is trying to cope with the trauma. My grandma couldn't go to the basement, so the two of them sheltered in a hallway until it was over. They got lucky. My grandma's house is brick, it was well built, and it's got one of only a few basements in the area. They got through with just minor damage to the roof and a little bit of flooding in the basement. Meanwhile, at a nearby park, every tree was uprooted. Some of these trees were hundreds of years old, three or four stories tall. Currently, the United Way of Logan County is collecting monetary donations to help victims get back on their feet. It could be weeks or months before insurance funds come through. With supply shortages and the massive amount of damage, it might take even longer before some of them can start to rebuild. If you can spare a couple of bucks, please consider donating at the link down below. I'm not a large channel. I'm not expecting this campaign to be far reaching, but I would love it if you could share this video even if you aren't able to donate. I'd like to raise at least $500 for the relief fund to help everybody get back on their feet. I'm a small channel. I am 3,000 miles away from my family and there is nothing else I can do for them right now. So please help me to do this. Thank you.